Hi, I'm Pam Bennett, horticulture educator for Ohio State University Extension, and I would like to share with you how to keep your holiday poinsettia looking its best. The very first thing is to pick out a perfect poinsettia. When you go to a garden store to pick out a poinsettia, look for one that's nice and compact and has lots of color on it. Now, most people think that the red or the colored part is the flower. This is actually a bract or a modified leaf. The flower is the piece right here in the middle of these bracts. And if you look closely, you'll see these are just starting to open up. It should be in tight green bud or just beginning to bloom. If you look at a, a flower and there's no buds at all and there's just little tiny stubs, that means the bloom is complete, it's finished, and it won't last much longer in your home. So look for one that's nice and healthy, the bracts are nice and clean, and it has lots of good flowers just getting ready to open. When you leave the store, make sure they put a protective sleeve on it. Poinsettias do not tolerate cold temperatures. The foliage, the flowers, everything will drop if they get too cold. So put a protective sleeve on it in order to leave. When you're out doing your holiday shopping and you buy a poinsettia, make that the last thing on your list. You don't want it sitting in a cold car or even a hot car during the whole day. As Soon as you get home, remove that protective sleeve and place it in a location that is away from drafts or a source of heat. If you have a, a place where it's near a door, for instance, and people are coming and going, that cold weather will cause the foliage and the bracts to drop quickly. Now, taking care of it is rather easy. You want to make sure it stays nice and moist. You don't want to overwater it, but you want the soil to kind of stay moist. The way I tell if it's moist or if it needs watered is just to kind of lift it and feel the weight of the pot. Right now, it's kind of heavy. If it gets a little bit lighter, I take it out of the sleeve or the decorative cover put it in a, a tray of water or put it in the sink and just let it sit there for about an hour. The soil will soak up all that water and again, you'll be able to feel that difference. You'll feel that weight. When it's finished watering, let it drain, then stick it back in your decorative cover. And then I also make sure I use this plastic drainage tray to protect my furniture and my floors from any kind of water that might seep out. Now, while some know that poinsettias may be toxic, you would have to consume an enormous amount in order to cause or have an ill effect on humans and animals. So therefore, they're safe to have in the home. The other thing about poinsettias is the breeding has been just absolutely incredible. In fact, Paul Ecke, a graduate of Ohio State University, is responsible for many of the poinsettia varieties that we see today. This particular one called Winter Rose has this nice rose-like flower shape. You can get all different colors like pinks and whites and, and variegated speckled colors. And you can also get something like this purple one or a yellow or an orange one. Now, these oddball colors are dye. There's actually sprayed with a dye, and in this one you also see a little bit of sparkles on it. Today you can get just about any color, any variety of poinsettia imaginable. So there you go. Tips on how to enjoy your poinsettia for the holiday season.